Two of the fundamental elements that are graded about uh, diamond cut uh, is, are the elements of polish and symmetry. So right now we're going to focus a little bit on, that, on the element of symmetry. And symmetry grading, uh, as done in the laboratories, primarily looks at um, how well the facets are aligned with one another. Um, on the crown, how well this facet is aligned with its opposite corresponding facet, um, and, and also its corresponding facets on the pavilion. So we're going to look at some of these things. This first graphic on, uh, coming up on the screen here is showing an outlined example of, um, of something that, that's commonly seen in common round brilliant cuts. And this is uh, where the culet is off-centered. Okay, this is, this is something that will affect the symmetry grading of a diamond. By the way, symmetry grading, uh, in the GIA laboratories, they use a symmetry grade scale that runs uh, from going excellent, very good, good, fair, and poor. Okay, so, um, so any of these factors here that we're going to be looking at on the screen are all things that would contribute to a diamond getting lower than the excellent grade in symmetry on a GIA report. Uh, AGS Laboratories uses a symmetry grading scale uh, that's based on numbers going from 0 through 10 depending upon how visible or not it's, uh, it's able to be detected both under a microscope and also to human vision. Okay, so, uh, so an off-centered culet would be something that, contribu that would contribute to a decrease in the symmetry grade. Uh, this graphic here is showing a misalignment uh, of the crown and pavilion facets. Uh, you can see how the, the point of the crown facet does not align properly with the point on the pavilion facet. So your crown and pavilion are misaligned here. This is an example of that. Uh, this graphic here is showing an outline. Uh, sometimes when a, when a factory is cutting a diamond, they may polish an extra facet on the diamond. Uh, an extra facet may be due to uh, if there was maybe an imperfection on the stone in that point and they wanted to polish off the imperfection and by doing so they put an extra facet on the diamond. Uh, an extra facet on a diamond isn't uh, a major train wreck there, uh, especially uh, diamonds that have excellent symmetry can have an extra facet if the facet is generally confined to the uh, girdle of the stone. Uh, if the facets are not pointed properly is another thing that can contribute to a decrease in a symmetry grade. Uh, this is a common uh, symmetry feature seen on diamonds that do not constitute the excellent grade. Uh, facets just not properly pointed. Uh, misshapen facets is another common feature. Uh, if you look carefully in this graphic here, especially at the facets, that facet there at 11 o'clock really stands out to me, uh, to me most, how it's misshapen. Uh, naturals on the crown and pavilion. Uh, a natural, when they're cutting a diamond, um, so many factories, in, in the effort to try and maintain as much of the original weight as possible, uh, will leave part of the original rough diamond on the finished product. And, um, and when part of the original rough diamond is left on, it's something called a natural because it's part of the natural crystal face. But when that natural, uh, if the natural is confined to the girdle of the diamond, that's not a problem. But when it, when it extends onto the pavilion or onto the crown, um, that can cause the diamond to take a hit in the symmetry grade, as it does affect the symmetry of the diamond. Uh, out of round girdle outline uh, is another common feature that's seen in uh, older cut diamonds and even modern cut diamonds that aren't cut so well. Um, the diamond will not be a nice round shape but will there be some kind of off feature there uh, in, in the circular shape of the stone. And then uh, this graphic here is showing another symmetry feature where the table is not parallel to the girdle. Uh, when they're cutting a diamond, that table and girdle should be a nice uh, parallel line with each other. Okay. If the table is not a, rec a regular octagon, this is something that would also uh, contribute to a decrease in symmetry. The table of a diamond should be a nice, uh, perfectly formed octagon in the middle. This graphic is showing uh, uh, a table that's off-centered. Uh, the very first graphic we saw was of a culet that was off-centered. 
uh, the bottom of the stone. This one here, the whole top or the crown of the stone is kind of off-centered. <laughs> That's not good either. <laughs> and then uh, lastly, here is a, um, a wavy girdle. All right, the girdle or the rim of the diamond should be a nice, even uh, roundness as it goes around the stone. And um, this, this is an example too of, uh, usually when there's a wavy girdle, you're also gonna have misshapen facets and, and a number of other features that are wrong with the stone. So um, these are the basic um, symmetry features or basic symmetry faults that would contribute to a less than excellent grade when it comes to uh, symmetry grading on diamond. All right, now we're gonna show you um, briefly and we're gonna take you under the microscope and show you some of the differences in polish because uh, graphics or line art drawings really don't do justice when it comes to looking at polish features.